everyone, I hope that you're well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. In about an hour or so, I am heading to Heathrow Airport to fly to Thailand. I'm going on another backpacking trip. This is, without a doubt, the busiest couple of years that I've had in my life. It's quite non-stop at the moment. Feel like I've got my packing down to a T, but it always changes a little bit. And in this video, I am going to be sharing with you what I am packing for this trip. So it's not super long this trip. It's gonna be about 65 days more or less. I'm going to spend three weeks in Thailand and then I'm going to spend six weeks in Australia. So I'm packing for Thailand and Australia, two amazing countries. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. I'm very excited, I'm just a little bit stressed because we don't have much time. So everything that I want to bring is laid out on this bed including the bag that I want to take. And how these videos usually work, if you're new to the channel, is first I show you everything that I want to take, then we show myself trying to fit it into the backpack or luggage that I want to bring, and then if it doesn't fit, I will share with you what I'm going to be sacrificing. So, first let's show you what I'm taking. Now you may have watched my review a couple of videos back of my new backpack with wheels, and I kind of came to the consensus that I think I can travel with more wheeled luggage in the future, and because this trip is not gonna be like super off the beaten track, and especially Australia, like you can wheel something everywhere in Australia, like arguably if you're just doing that country, you definitely don't need a backpack. So I'm going with a small suitcase for this trip. Um, this is by Rip Curl. I actually don't know how many liters it is. I guess it's probably around 40. It does fit in carry-on luggage, but I'm actually gonna be checking it in because I have a rare circumstance where I have checked in luggage included in my flight, because I'm flying with Thai Airways. So I'm gonna utilize that, um, but we'll get more onto the liquids later. But basically, this is the suitcase that I'm bringing. It has a clamshell style opening, which is, as you may know, my absolute favorite. It just has two wheels, which I actually always prefer to the four wheels on suitcases because I find that these are much more robust than the four wheels, which just can go rogue and broken a lot of the time. And then it's just got a nice handle here. So as usual with these packing videos, we're going to start with the clothes that I'm going to bring. I'm going to be bringing one pair of trousers on this trip, and they are the Solo trousers, now available on backpackingsolo.shop. These have zipped pockets. They are the most comfy and practical trousers that you can have for travel. And then as for shorts, I am bringing one, two, three, four, five pairs of shorts. I don't normally bring denim shorts on my backpacking trips, but I do like a denim short vibe for Australia specifically. So we'll see if these fit in. And then as for tops, I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six tops. I have one super casual, like beachy play suit. And then I have one super snazzy, really nice white play suit. Uh, there's a couple of like occasions where I want to dress nice on this trip, and so I'm probably just gonna be wearing this the whole time. White's a good color for Australia as well, especially like Byron Bay area. And then I'm just bringing one dress, which I actually bought on the east coast of Australia a few years ago. It's just quite a nice, like, hippie, easy to wear vibe, throw over the top of anything. And then I just have a couple of items of gym wear. For example, these black Lululemon shorts, which have a six inch thigh seam. And then I also have these black shorts, which are a little bit shorter um, and they have pockets on the side where I can put my phone if I'm gonna go for a run. I have one proper sports crop top from Gymshark, which is quite good. It's like um, kind of compressing. So it acts as even more of a booby holder than just the sports bra. And then finally for clothes, we just have a pair of pajamas, just some shorts ones because it's gonna be very hot everywhere that I'm going.
Okay, there we go. So all of those clothes have fit into this, this, and this packing cube. I actually feel like that's a lot. I feel like I'm gonna have to sacrifice some of those already, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, now moving on to some more beachy wear, AKA my bikinis. I'm gonna be in a bikini almost every single day of this trip, so I have a lot more than I did on my previous trip. We have got so much I haven't worn before. Most of my bikinis at the moment are from a company called Lolea. I just really like their style. They're very like flowery. Uh, we've got one, two, three, and this one's reversible. Four, five, six bikinis. Is that excessive? Perhaps, but we'll see if they fit. And if we run out of room, I probably will end up sacrificing a bikini or two. But we're happy and we're gonna keep them. They've all just gone in this packing cube, which actually is a compressible one. I'm not like the world's biggest fans of these compression packing cubes, but they're, they're all right. I just don't rate them like over the other ones, you know? As usual, I'm going to be bringing two towels. We've got one beach towel. I'm using this extra large one from Dock and Bay. I feel like I just have an endless supply of Dock and Bay towels in this house. They're really good because they're lightweight, they're quick drying, they're sand wicking. They're also made from like 100% recycled water bottles, I'm pretty sure. They're really good. And of course, I am bringing a bath towel as well because most hostels do not give you towels. This is the Solo bath towel, which is microfiber and it has an elastic fastening so that it's not gonna fall down in the dorm room. And actually, I'm bringing this Fuchsia one. I bought my white one on my last trip and someone stole it. I'm a solo towel down. That was absolutely devastating. So I now only have one solo towel. Gonna need to order in some more. Stay tuned, by the way. Now I have this clamshell style packing cube from Patagonia, which I used on my last trip to keep together my underwear, my bras, my socks, and my pajamas. And I thought that it worked really well. I liked having all of those things together. So I'm gonna do the same again. I'm bringing 11 pairs of pants, only two pairs of socks because I will be in sandals the majority of this trip so socks are really just not a big priority i've got five bras always slightly different functions one of them's a high impact sports bra one of them's a medium impact sports bra one of them's a low impact sports bra and the other two are just kind of like nice ones and then we're just going to stick the pajamas in here as well Now as for other random bits and bobs before I move on to my toiletries, we have my foldable backpack from Patagonia. I received so many compliments on this bag on my previous trip and I'm so, so pleased with it. It's the Ultralight Black Hole Tote Bag by Patagonia. It's my favorite foldable backpack I've ever had. I think it's absolutely brilliant, highly recommend it. Wish I had an affiliate link because I feel like I've referred so many people there, but I don't, but I do highly recommend this. We have my mask and snorkel, of course. I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm gonna be doing a lot of diving and hopefully a lot of snorkeling as well. We've got my trusty Lululemon cap, which is so dirty. I think one of the first things I do when I get to Thailand is put it in the wash. We have my Go Travel neck pillow. It's absolutely glorious, memory foam. If you're going for a neck pillow, get one which ties up at the front and then like feels like a neck brace. You wanna be able to just go, that is the perfect neck pillow. I am bringing an eye mask. Don't ask me what one this is. I'm not super fond of it. I'm still searching for the perfect eye mask after I lost my previous one, which was the perfect one and they discontinued. Let me know if you really like your eye mask. Um, I'm looking for a new one, but I've got one. I have this thin little bag, which acts as my laundry bag. I have this and this as my waterproofs. This is basically just a big poncho, which I expect to wear more in Thailand. And this is just a little umbrella, which I expect to use more in Australia. This is just like a tiny little like insecure dry bag. For example, if you've been wearing your bikini and then you wanna take it off and travel somewhere, you don't wanna get the rest of the things in your bag wet, you can stick it in here. It just keeps like wet things separate from dry things. Sorry, that was a terrible explanation. <laughs> So I'm bringing my running shoes. This is actually what I'm going to be wearing on the plane, so I'm not packing these, um, but they are my running trainers and they are my only closed toe shoes that I'm bringing. Because the only other pair of shoes that I'm bringing is gonna be my Burks. Uh, I always keep my shoes in these uh, shower caps just to keep them clean from the rest of the things in my bag. I have the Arizona style EVA Burks, which I just find to be the absolute perfect traveling sandal. I'm actually bringing these geeky little uh, water shoes. I find that when you're in hot destinations, you always like find a use to need 
water shoes like you're going to be walking in the water somewhere where it's super rocky or I don't even know I don't know what I'm going to use these for but I'm bringing them just in case now this is probably the most controversial thing that I will ever try to bring on a backpacking trip. I'm bringing my hair drying brush, which I don't expect to be using in Thailand, but in Australia, being in the cities and things, I just like my hair to just look kind of nice and my hair struggles to look nice if it's just drying naturally. We'll see if it fits. Anyway, a hairbrush and a big claw clip as well. And now we are officially moving on to toiletries. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I have free checked in luggage for my flight. And so I'm going to utilize that and bring big liquids, which is not usually what I get to do on these trips. And also my flight to Australia, also I can check in a bag if I have some left over. So I'm, I'm just really happy about this. So I'm bringing two bottles of sun cream for my body, a 20 and a 30, which should last more than my time in Thailand. I'm bringing a big jungle formula bug spray. I'm bringing shampoo and conditioner. I'm bringing shower gel. I really, really like this one by Raydox, not only because it's just a pound, but also it does that. You can just hook it onto any shower. It's just really, really useful. We have got a fair bit of skincare because I feel like as the days and the years go on, my skincare routine just gets a little bit more complex and lavish. Uh, so we've got moisturizer, two different serums, my trusty face fake tan, toothpaste of course, SPF for my face, antiperspirant deodorant, some hair oil, controversial again, I'm bringing my perfume and I use Beyonce Heat Rush. I have been using this for the last 10 years and I think it's still like my favorite smelling perfume that doesn't cost over 100 quid. It's cost about 12 quid, I love it. I'm bringing a few different makeup bits, but not too much. I normally just bring mascara, concealer, lipstick, bronzer, highlighter, and a primer. I'm sure I'll probably be wearing this more in Australia than I will in Thailand. I very rarely wear makeup anywhere, to be honest, but I like to have it just in case. We've got my razor and a few spare heads. We've got some nail polish and a few nail polish remover pads. I think I'll actually stick this in my bum bag, but I've got just a 30 SPF little lip balm. I wear daily contact lenses, so I have 65 pairs of contact lenses. We have a small stash of condoms because we don't want any backpacking babies and we don't want any backpacking SDIs. Please be safe. I always bring this foot buff. Everyone's always like, why? And I'm always just like, because I like to have soft feet. I know it's a weird thing to bring, but I bring it. I'm bringing a few face masks. Can you really see how I'm like becoming such a bougie backpacker? But like, these are just so nice to do, especially when you've been on a bunch of long flights and you've just been traveling for a while, um, just to feel a bit like rejuvenated. So I'm gonna bring these. And this one is my absolute favorite by Garnier Skincare. If you haven't tried it, tried it. It's amazing. It always makes my skin just feel glorious. Did I mention my toothbrush? I mentioned my toothpaste, but there's nothing actually in here. Let me go grab my toothbrush from the bathroom. We've got my glasses. I actually just got some new ones today by Marc Jacobs. What do we think about them? They're very similar to my old ones actually, but that is just for the times where I don't wanna wear contact lenses. Like sometimes my eyes just need a break, so I need to bring glasses as well. I'm bringing my speaker. I have the Ultima Ears Wonderboom. Love this speaker. I'm bringing my dive watch, which still needs a new battery. And hopefully I can get this done in Koh Tao before I start diving in Thailand. I have a bunch of tissues. I always seem to get runny nose at the most inconvenient times. So these will be dispersed throughout the backpack and the bum bag um, and some wet wipes as well. I have a head torch. You never know when that's gonna come in handy. And finally, we have a lighter and we have a bottle opener, which I got in El Salvador. In fact, I think both of these things I got in El Salvador because uh, I learned how to open bottles with a lighter, but it's not always 100% successful. So I still carry a bottle opener. Yeah, there is logic in that somewhere. That is literally everything that I want to bring in this backpack. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try packing it in the bag. We'll see how we go. And if it doesn't fit, I'll tell you what I'm sacrificing. That wasn't the easiest to pack, like that took me a while. I don't think I need all of those shorts. 
if I could make my life any easier, like maybe I should just downsize on a few, like a couple of things. Let's, let's have a look. But, amazing. Let's open this back up. That's pretty good. Maybe it's just a case of just like packing it just that little bit better. Here. And it will be happier there in terms of the distribution, distribution of things. No, I don't want to sacrifice bikini. <laughs> or maybe this will be difficult. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're not sacrificing anything. <laughs> I've made the executive decision, I want to keep it all. I thought it was going to be okay letting things go, but I think now that I just know that it fits. <laughs> and this suitcase also has some cons compression straps here. Okay. And we can stick a paddle up on there. And I'm now in my aeroplane outfit. So I've got my black Lululemon Align leggings on, which is just gonna be my one and only pair of leggings for the trip. I've got my running trainers on, just like a plain top. And this is my one and only jumper slash fleece for the whole trip because everywhere I'm going is warm. But obviously when like catching flights or if you're on like a long bus with air con or if it's just a little bit chilly sometimes out at night, like you just want something. And this is what is gonna be. I've literally got no other warm layers because I genuinely don't think that I'm going to need them. I used to always travel with my white hoodie, but I am sorry to say that the time of the white hoodie is past it had just developed so many holes it had got so scabby I just had to throw it away it was like non wearable anymore so I thrifted this one in El Salvador um, well actually my friend thrifted it and then I thrifted it off her because <laughs> I really liked it and she was like actually I've changed my mind but it's like vintage what's the brand Columbia vintage Columbia and I really really like it so yes, this is the look with my bum bag, which just has my normal bum bag things. And then my electronics bag, which is packed exactly the same as how it always is. I will link uh, some of my other packing videos if you want to know what I pack in this bag. The only thing that's changed is instead of my iPad Pro 2.9 inch, I've actually downgraded my iPad to an iPad mini because I've kind of realized I don't need an iPad that big. And I have been wanting to make this bag lighter because it's just always so heavy. So that's it, that is everything that I am packing for this trip. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and want to keep up to date with the adventures of what's gonna be happening in Thailand and Australia. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know where that's gonna be, probably Thailand, maybe Bangkok. See you then, bye.